Today's game is Tribes and Monsters. This is a horde survival game for the PC. As always if you are interested in the game the download link can be found in the video description. Also if you enjoy the video be sure to like and subscribe. So the UI there was a little confusing. I thought those symbols were other things in the hero select screen. I wouldn't have jumped right into battle normally. I am going to guess I did something wrong. Either that or the game is way too hard lol. Oh look I can move around using WASD good to know. The initial out of combat upgrades seem prohibitively expensive. It is usually a good idea to start at a fairly low price and then increase it steadily. So players get a sense of improvement early on. I love that we are putting together a small army. It's very cute and works with the art style. This is a good first level. I just wish there was a quick tutorial or on screen instructions when I started to let me know what to do. Also a UI showing how many currency gems you have collected would be nice. As my brothers always say range is best in most video games. Oh no bees. This is a good progression. Oh very nice my army can upgrade and it actually changes how they look. I love it.
That's quite the swarm I have going here. If you are enjoying the video be sure to like and subscribe. I wonder if there is a cap on how many arrows my archers can fire. Health potions seem to heal for about 15 life. So they are at a pretty good spot right now. Boss time. Nice. The boss wasn't bossy enough. Before he gets all three vines out he should take very reduced damage so players at least have to go through one round of running and fighting as the vines move. A boss kill should also grant players a level up or two immediately. If not special abilities. I was nice that you can choose where to head after the boss. And as I suspected the three skull portals are harder levels. I like it.
As always like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.